What's up guys, this is Santec IT Solutions. Today we're going to take a quick look at the StarTech Drive Duplicator Dock. This is the USB 3.0 version. Well, right out the box so we got our LED lights and our uh, clone button. In the back we got a USB 3.0 port, uh, an erase button, um, power adapter port, and our power switch. Right. See what else we get in the box. Here we got an instruction booklet. Um, here's our USB 3.0 cable. And we've got our power adapter. Looks like it comes with some extra goodies here. Take a quick look. Oh, cool. Alright, looks like we've got uh, different power types we can use. I'll just put the uh, American one in. So we'll be using that one today. All right, guys, I'm gonna set this thing up and we'll uh, we'll do a quick clone on it. See how fast it is. All right, guys, I got my dock all plugged in and set up, ready to go. As you can see here, it's plugged in. We got a timer here. We're gonna test how long it takes. Uh, this dock does fit three and a half and two and a half inch drives. So I'm going to demonstrate that now. The two and a half inch drives fit in there quite nicely. And you can also put in the uh, the bigger drives here. So I'm going to be duplicating a 500 gigabyte three and a half inch drive to a one terabyte drive. Um, I had to go online to find a manual and it did say that you can only duplicate from smaller to larger. So do not duplicate a larger drive to a smaller drive you'll probably lose your data all right so i'm going to put um drives in and fire this thing up uh you'll notice that i didn't turn it on first you want to get the drives in first and then power it on it's something else i uh i found out about so power this thing on let's see what kind of uh indicators we got here you can hear the drives powering on too it's pretty cool they're spinning up Now all you have to do is hold the clone button in for a few seconds and you're going to see the LED lights all come on and they should start blinking and that lets you know that the process started. As soon as that happens I'm going to start our timer. There we go. And um, I'll check back in with you guys once this thing's finished. All right, our drive duplication is completed, and it looks like it took almost about an hour and a half to uh, complete. I copied a 500 gigabyte drive to a one terabyte drive. Um, the 500 gigabyte drive was about halfway full, so it was about 250 gigs that I copied over. Uh, this isn't too bad, though, so I'm going to plug this into a computer, and um, I'll show you how the USB 3.0 docking works. All right, so we got our USB plugged into the computer. Um, you see that I powered off the drives here. It's kind of cut off on the, uh, the image, but I'm trying to fit everything here in one screen. So I'm gonna just go ahead and power this back on, and um, Windows should detect the drives. Just give it a minute to power on here. And there'll be some blue, that's what you want to see when you're attached to a computer. You want to see the LED lights turn blue. And my windows just alerted me, my computer just alerted me, I mean, that um, the drives are attached. I don't think these have volume letters yet, so we probably... Oh, okay. It detected one of the drives as a drive letter, but let's see what disk management shows us. Okay, um, looks like one of the drives I already had, that was the fr the source drive. I guess I mapped that as a, as a volume with the letter D, so that came up right away. But as you can see, this is our destination drive here, the, the one terabyte. And you can see the rest just remains unallocated, so I'm going to go ahead and just um, extend that. But first, I think I need to bring the disk online. Okay, I'll extend the volume. All right, now let's take a look at this drive and uh, let's see if the data is there. All right, it looks like everything is there. We can do a side-by-side -side comparison. So 
So there's the D drive, the source and destination. Looks like everything made it okay, over okay. Um, some drivers and stuff there. All right, so that concludes our uh, first pass, and um, I just wanted to kind of recap what we did here. Again, I copied from a 500 gig to a one terabyte, and it had about 250 gigs. Actually, let's see how much was in the original, how much capacity. It was about half full, so it took about an hour and a half to copy over 240 gigabytes. And um, earlier in the video, I mentioned that you can only go from smaller drive to larger um, or equal size that's f the part I forgot to uh, include you can definitely clone you know the same size drives over and it works perfectly fine I tested it with um, and you can also clone solid state drives too it works with those as well so um, you cannot clone anything or copy or duplicate anything from an attached drive through the USB at first I thought that oh okay you could plug in the USB and and it would pick up the drive and you can copy from that to a drive in in the dock but that's not the case the uh, USB is only for just reviewing the data and you can actually you know pull it up and and edit the drives as if they were attached to the machine so um, that's a pretty neat feature um, again there is an erase feature with the with the uh, duplicator and I haven't tested that out yet, but, um, you know, it, it is in the back and you have to push it with a, a pen or a pencil for, they probably did that for a good reason. So you wouldn't accidentally just delete your, your drives and stuff like that. So that's another uh, feature on here that um, I might review in another video or something like that. But for now, we're just uh, covering the basics here with this thing. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, be sure to check out my other videos.